Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. Cultural and creative industries employ 12 million people in the, in the European Union, which is 7.5% of all the people working in the European economy. And cultural and creative uh, industries are at the heart of the creative economy. Knowledge intensive, based on individual creativity and talent. They include a number of subsectors such as architecture, archives and libraries, artistic crafts, cultural heritage, design, uh, fashion, film, performing and visual arts, publishing, radio, television, and video games. We're here today to explore and develop and see how we can further enhance the CCIs and at the same time also develop a more sustainable Europe from the aspects of social, ecological and economic um, situations. My name is Katarina rolf stotter Jansson. I am a writer, a lecturer and moderator and television host focusing on sustainable development. And it's a great honor to be here today. And my name is Navid Mudiri, and I am a public speaker on the subject of creativity and co-creation. And I am also a conversation activist. And what that, that is, I will tell you a little bit later. You'll know for sure. Yeah. And together with Katarina, I will moderate this convention and conversation, mm -hmm. where your participation and input is key in order to make things happen. Mm -hmm. And we're very happy to announce that we're actually... 200 people here today from 25 countries. It's quite amazing, huh? It's awesome, yeah. And it's our duty, and we will make sure that the diversity of perspectives, knowledge, and power will be listened to deeply and explored to understand how to address the challenges at hand. And we have live interviews, we have live stream, but we also have live stream interviews in the intermissions outside. So please Twitter your questions. Mm -hmm. uh, Twitter it in for Creative Powers EU, just one long sentence. And the questions will be addressed to the uh, speakers that will be doing live interviews in the intermissions. And they, they will also be broadcasted. Yeah. Mm. It's now our pleasure to give the stage to the real hosts of this event. And... Um, Let's surround them all up here. Maria Ward, Chair of the Cultural Committee, Region Skåne. Thomas Hansson, uh, Regional Development Committee, also Region Skåne, which is the local area here in southern Sweden. Stefan Fossell, Director General of the Swedish Arts Council. Gunilla Nordlöv, Director General for the Swedish Agency for Economic and Regional Growth. Please give them all a warm hand. Welcome. Dear audience, good morning. On behalf of the Culture Committee in Region Skåne, I wish you all welcome to Sweden and Malmö. Region Skåne is proud to be given the opportunity to host Creative Powers for Europe in close cooperation with the national authorities, the Swedish Agency for Economic and Regional Growth and the Swedish Arts Council. Cultural and creative industries play a key role in the region's ambition to become Europe's most innovative region 2020. Skåne aim to offer the best conditions for cultural and creative entrepreneurs to su successfully develop their concepts and companies. Skåne as a region has a beautiful, peaceful landscape with unique nature and a long coastline, as well as a vibrant urban environments. So we can offer very good conditions for artists and creators to establish in the Skåne region. Visual artists, filmmakers, musicians, performing artists, designers, publishers and game developers are all examples of the culture and creative professionals that contribute to Skåne's culture life and development. A vital culture life is an important factor 
for local and regional development in Skåne. Many of the cities in the region is maintaining an important work to put culture at the core of sustainable urban development. Skåne is geographically and historically close to the rest of Europe. Our aim is now to come even closer to all of you gathered here today, representing different nations and the diversity of culture and creativity in Europe. I'm convinced that with joint efforts, we can achieve success. I wish you all an interesting and nice day here in Malmö. Yeah, <coughs> oops, that was the voice. Uh, dear audience, on behalf of the Regional Executive, Executive Committee of Skåne, we are very pleased to welcome you here. And um, as uh, Katarina said earlier, we're very happy that so many people from so many different countries have gathered to this place. Region Skåne has a vision to develop an attractive international innovation environment. And the goal is to be Europe's most innovative region 2020. And we are on the top, tr top three list at the moment, so it's still possible to be the best. <coughs> and Skåne has a young and fast-growing population, which is positive for this. The region has an extensive and successful cultural and creative sector with about 15,000 private enterprises within the fields of CCI. We also have a large number of clusters for example, in the areas of culture, media, uh, life science, ICT, and gastronomy. Paired this with the large investments in advanced infrastructure for science and research, the, these investments create an, an attractive region for innovations. You might have heard about ESS and MAX4, which is in Lund, actually. It's not far from here. Uh, these investments are very good for Skåne, that is striving to offer a good quality of life for its inhabitants, including employment opportunities. And this is in order to create a sustainable growth also, which we still has in um, some ways. And it is very important for fu to fulfill the sustainability goals that the United Nations has set up and the climate goals from the Paris Agreement and now from the signing in Marrakesh. So we all do this with a transforming direction for the region and for Sweden and Europe. We see the importance of the cultural and creative sectors being offered opportunities to interact with, it, with other sectors. For example, to get into more in traditional areas of trade and industry. We are convinced that cross-sectoral cooperation can contribute to create innovations and sustainable development. Here in Skåne, we're still in Skåne, the cultural and creative professionals are key actors for truly sustainable and innovative European region. We must continue to create good conditions for the cultural and creative sectors so they can grow even further. So thank you for joining us here today to see what we can do together. We can achieve great things. Thank you. Dear convention participants, my key words here today will be global warming and digitalization. I am Staffan Forsell, Director General of the Swedish Arts Council. And I'm very glad to see you all from all around Europe come here to Malmö today. Actually, it's not Europe, it's all, all around the world, which is great. The Swedish Arts Council is a government agency under the Swedish Ministry of Culture. Our main task is to promote development in arts and culture to create access to culture for everyone. We annually allocate about 220 million euros to the Swedish cultural sector. Our activities are based on the national culture policy objectives decided by the Swedish government, and they are. Culture is to be a dynamic, challenging, and independent force based on the freedom of expression. Everyone is to be able to have participate in cultural life. Creativity, diversity, and artistic quality are to be integral parts of society's development. Artists and cultural and creative profe professionals are actors of change. They are often setting focus on and helping us to reflect on complex issues such as climate change and social injustice. 
and culture is an important catalyst for transformation. When ideas come from the culture creators, it's our duty to pol as policymakers to contribute to the implementation of those initiatives. The Swedish Arts Council and the Swedish Agency of Economic and Regional Growth support different parts of the value chains of the culture and creative sectors. By combining our competences and working together in the new ways, we act to strengthen the sectors. The aim for today is to discuss and share ideas that can move the culture and creative sectors in Europe forward. This day will be about dialogue, and I strongly believe that in exchanging ideas and learning from each other, we can make a difference. About a month ago, I took part in a conference of a global network of art councils. 80 countries were represented. A two-day seminar concluded that the two most important questions for the art councils of the world are the effects of global warming and digitalization. Global warming needs no explanation. But the CEO group stated that the creative force of this planet must be part of solving this problem in a much larger extent than earlier. The digital technology or digitalization has deeply changed the way the cultural and creative content is being produced, distributed and consumed. And that's a connection with freedom of expression, which is the core of culture and democracy. Because we also understand that whoever is in control of the roads of digit digital information also controls freedom of expression and therefore democracy. Today, the five largest companies in the world based on stock value are all companies that focus on the web and digitalizations. Apple, Alphabet, Microsoft, Facebook and Amazon. They're all US companies. But what will the future be? Today, the 10 most, uh, the, those countries that are harnessing the information technology the best are Singapore, Finland, Sweden, Norway, US, Netherlands, Switzerland, United Kingdom, Luxembourg and Japan. Therefore, this is, there is at this moment a great possibility to utilize digitalization in a, as a vital tool for the arts and culture to defend the democracy. This is a work that has been done on a local, regional, national and European level. I am convinced that today we can create necessary change and new ways of cooperation. I'm therefore happy to be here together with you and I hope this day will give you inspiration and motivation. Thank you. So, hello everybody. Are you ready to listen to one more person here? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Well, we might seem a bit funny here, all four of us, but we're really excited about uh, having shaped this conference and together with many of you. I'm Gunilla Nordlöf and I'm the Director General of the Swedish Agency for Economic and Regional Growth. And I really want to start with thanking all of you who have been involved in creating and shaping this conference today. It started, I think, more than a year ago with a small pre-meeting here in Malmö. And uh, lots of you uh, were at that meeting and you really shared your ideas and your knowledge with us. And uh, that was the start of the shaping of this convention here today. Uh, and then we continued on last spring. There was another meeting, this time in Austin, Texas, in connection with the South by Southwest Festival. And many of you were at that meeting as well and continued to share and to create. And because of that, we have this conference here today. So thank you very much for that contribution. Now, the uh, Agency for Economic and Regional Growth worked to enhance the competitiveness of enterprises in Sweden, particularly small and medium-sized enterprises. We also work with the regions in Sweden, Skåne, among others, to support the creation of attractive regions. Our vision is more enterprises who have the capability and the courage to start and to grow. And uh, our tools are networking, like here today, creating and sharing knowledge, and also funding. We are the responsible agency for the European Regional Development Fund in Sweden. And by the way, when I talk about growth, 
Of course, I mean sustainable growth, that is economically, environmentally and socially sustainable growth. Our work includes strengthening the opportunities for cultural and creative enterprises, as well as strengthening structures for cultural driven growth in Swedish regions. The field is becoming more and more important for sustainable regional development. It has to do with social inclusion, it has to do with tourism, and it has to do with attracting investments and in attracting people and competence to come to your region. Without the cultural and creative expressions, you will not have an attractive region. Therefore, I find it very relevant that we as a national agency can contribute to this discussion and place issues high on the agenda, not only on a national level, but also on a European international level. And this is really what the idea of this convention today is about. The Skåne region, the Swedish Arts Council and my agency want to ignite discussions on the role of cultural production in sustainable development. One aspect of this is of course that the creation in the sector is usually green, very low on carbon emission, because in many cases it's about creative, creating immaterial values. Moreover, there are great possibilities for munip municipalities and regions to create sustainable green growth when using the sector and the ideas that come spring from the cultural and creative sectors. And there is also a lot of growth in the sector itself, the cultural and creative sector itself, but also, and not least, in connection with other sectors. Now, Thomas here just mentioned the European Spallation Source, which is a large research centre that is being built just kilometres away from here. And the aim of that centre is to conduct advanced material research on a micro level. And of course, we will, in that uh, centre, find new materials and create new materials. And wouldn't it be interesting to also see SMEs from the cultural and creative sector in that vicinity? You will need the architects, the designers, the handicraft professionals to see how to use new materials, how to make business of new materials, and also to, to contribute to sustainable growth. We know from uh, research and investigations in my agency that the people inv involved in the creative sector and the companies involved are often more innovative than the, the average SME in Sweden. And the people in this sector are often have a very strong drive. Strong drive and engagement and determination and want to change and to develop and not least in connection with social challenges. There is also a lot of uh, courage in these companies. I suppose because the creative process itself is challenging and you need courage to go that way. If you want to break new ground, if you want to start new corporations, meet new people, new sectors, new companies, you need to be brave. And all of these elements, I think, are key features for innovation. We need to make more room for sustainable innovation in and through the cultural and creative sectors. So, let's talk about how to do that here today. Thank you.